Hi, right, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. We're working on a Crosley, basically a Whirlpool design dryer. And so, basically, we've got a problem. And the problem is... The drum does not spin. So, it's very likely that the belt has gone bad. Uh, one way you can watch to see if there's a problem with the dryer, basically you can push the activation switch and then also the on button here. Then you can see the drum is not turning. It's coming on, but it's not turning. So that would indicate you needed a new belt. So I'm going to take it apart. First thing you need to do is take that lens filter out here, the two screws out here. Okay, so we've got the front panel loose and the top panel. So the top panel basically is held on by these. By these. You can take a flathead screwdriver and go in this way and push in slightly and pry. pry on it. What I usually do is I just I just grab it from here once I have these screws out here and then pull back on it and then it will release the tangs in the front and you can open it this way. You have to be careful about this switch. You can see I already put some torque on it. That switch and those wires, ideally you want to disconnect that, but I've got it sort of temporary set up there where it's not going to affect anything. So, let's see that this dryer had a bungee put on the idler to take up the extra slack in the belt. The belt is not actually broken. It's just basically sort of disintegrated. So you can see this belt not broken, it's just falling apart. And so, quick check here. Three idler there. Three there. This one is a little stiff, so I'm going to oil this one. And I've got my zoom oiler. I have a special uh, Zoom oiler with the tri flow injection. So the tri flow basically, I'll put the tri flow inside the oiler. And the oiler's neat because it's got that long neck on it that you can get in and oil just about anywhere. And so. This particular one will just put like a drop of oil on each side, maybe two drops, and just sort of rub it in. And then you'll see that it becomes a little bit more loose. Okay, so, and then this one, this one's okay, but I'm just going to put a drop or two on that as well. Maybe a drop in here on the motor. And drop on this one too just for good measure. So drop on this side. And these motors sometimes uh actually take these bearing caps off and lube inside the shaft area there. And sometimes I'll put a couple of drops up here on this part. And maybe some of these, if they're worn, I might put a little bit here and then 